that. Here we go. This is the grand final. This is Cyber Gamer Season 2. This is uh, Double Dutch Dragons against 6-6. Six, 6-6 six. Six, six come from the upper bracket. They did beat Turbo in the uh, upper bracket final to get to the grand final. And then, uh, of course, the Double Dutch Dragons managed to take down Turbo um, in the lower bracket final. So they've got to win twice, and it's going to start on supply. It's going to be... Um, very important how they start things off. They've got to break down this first stage very, very quickly. Nice artillery going on the the middle area. It's going to stop that push on the respawn of the Axis. And we're watching Mihao at the moment. They're very slow because of this artillery. Panzer is going to fly out. Missed time. The respawn of the Axis had come in just previously. Frags are coming in for 6-6. Six, six. And the low defense is uh, holding on pretty strong. Having to deal with a couple of nades. The revives are going to go in. It looks like they've actually got a double engineer, SMG engineer. I think that's probably a mistake. And we've got actually quite a few 6-6 six, six players out for like four or five seconds. The artillery is going to be really important here. Nice artillery from Physic. Does take down one. Might be able to get more frags. The bounce in comes from Abject. Wood had maximum cover there. Perfo is going to have to close in for this defuse. He's not going to have to deal with too much at the moment. The uh, next players are coming in. He needs a revive. The Panzer hat flies in. He's still defusing that. Um, the spawn shield was there. And there's Clown on hand just to finish off that dynamite. Nice work from 6-6. Uh, and we're off to a flying start. Double Dutch Dragons getting in that plant so, so quickly. And it just... Uh, I think it was a slight mistake from 6-6. They went very aggressive trying to get down some, some uh, mines at the beginning. They managed to recover. Nice work. And they're getting in all the frags now. I'll just drop down console in a second. And you can see what's going on. If I just drop it down, you can see 6-6 picking up five frags in a row. Really nice to clear out that not last push. And they've already added two minutes to the clock. Uh, the, the, the clock's going to drain down very, very quickly. It's going to seem very, very... Uh, like already like a full hold to the uh, Double Dutch Dragons guys. They want to get this flag on the first push. They don't want to be held at all. Horrible, horrible team, team kill from uh, Jin there. Bludgy gets taken down. Not what he would have wanted to do. And uh, the push from Double Dash Dragons is not coming in at the sort of speed you would hope. 6-6 six, six playing very aggressive. The artillery comes down from physics once more. And they're doing a really, really good job at the moment. So I'm going to just keep watching Mihal. He's going to push up in this upper area once more. Double artillery kill. They didn't hear it or see it at all. And I think that was probably the last blast. And that's Physic with a triple kill. I'm going to actually pick up Physic on middle. He's playing that filled up role that we love very much. Doing all the damage. He's getting those artilleries down really nicely. Now, that one was a bit too far forward, I feel. They'll probably be able to push through that one. Double Dutch Dragon's picking up a lot of kills. But that artillery actually is going to do enough. Uh, we see uh, Hunter push forward for the respawn. But 6-6 um, six, six doing a great job at the moment. Three three minute defense. This first stage is holding on very, very strong. Oh, nice rifle grenade from Bludgeon. He's going to be able to push in this low area. He's going to be able to take down Oxy as well. No. Oh, he did. He just finished him off. Perfo did take him down afterwards. Clown double frag as well. So, again, Double Dutch Dragons seem to be getting a, quite a few frags in. But the reply from 6-6 six, six is really, really good. A Panzer right now would be horrible on this middle area. Nice nade from the cave area from Wood. But the rotation comes in from uh, Squid. He's going to be able to get that revive in. Nice medic work from Squid. And the uh, Go Clown! Tragic. Nice one there. And uh, remember, half of the uh, the donations I received during enemy territory streams go towards the uh, upcoming enemy territory land. As we see Double Dutch Dragons pick up this flag right on time. Uh, with the plant going down on the lower door. But I think the 6-6 uh, six, six guys will be very, very happy with that. Very, very happy. Four-minute defense at flag. They know they're playing against a very, very good team. And it's going to be very important for them to just hold every stage for just a couple of minutes. Just try and add time to the clock. They're going to need as much time as possible. You know, a full hold would probably be a bit too much to ask for at this time. But um, if, they could, if they could get a full hold, that would be absolutely amazing. So the spam at this stage is very, very key in 6 on 6. We haven't seen a 6 on 6 supply game for quite a while. We did see some really good spam from Physic at the beginning. We're going to see how much he can do now. There we go. There's an artillery. The push comes across with the allies. Physic in that middle tower. 
Getting quite a lot of shots across. <laughs> you see someone. One of the allies just fly across the map. I think that was work. He's uh, he, he was flying off the map, in fact. And there's an artillery flag, a frag from Physic. Where's the second artillery, though? Where's the second field up? A bit late on that artillery. You can see Physic's charge has already come back, and they're going to be able to push through. Not of shooting from Physic. And he's going to push across. The, all the 6-6 six, six frags come in. And oh, the revive train from Abject. Really nice play. A lot of the 6-6 six, six guys have rotated across. That's brilliant play from 6-6. Six, six. Look at the console. That's, that's just annihilation. Really, really nicely played. And... Uh, 6-6 six, six again, holding on. I mean, they've added another two minutes on this stage already. And the artillery is going down on main road again. They might be able to push through this. The strike does come across the CP. It might be able to clear out just a little bit. But the more 6-6 six, six frags are coming in. I'm going to try and push it to someone at the CP. It does look like the dragons are starting to get a bit of control. Once you lose the CP, it's very hard to take it back for the, uh, for the Axis. And uh, Perfo's artillery does start to do a bit of damage, but it looks like what has is the last man standing at CP. Free cam to just check it all out. It might meet head on with the Axis. I'm going to just keep it here. No strikes are coming across. That's a good choice. Artillery a bit late. Nice rifle grenade from Clown. And 6-6 six, six may be able to take back the CP. This is going to be really nice. There's three, four, five of them there. Uh, that squid team kill, not exactly what he wanted. Would have wanted it at that stage. I think Squid was one of the CP players as well. And it looks like they're probably going to abandon. An artillery is down on the main road though. So we might see some more artillery frags coming in. It's going to be one for Perfo. They're pushing across another kill for Perfo's artillery fire. It's going to be another kill. Double four-man artillery from Perfo. I can see that coming a mile away. And the allies just didn't see the smoke. What a play. And they're just slowing them down by so much time. It's unbelievable. The push from Mihal now through the cave. They need to do something here, Dragons. It's not working out for them. They're getting slowed down at every stage. And this is the experience that 6-6 can bring to a game. You know, they've got Olber. They've got Perfo. They've got Clown. The, the, the amount of experience that this team has got is incredible. And, uh, you know, land experience, land winning experience. It's going to be so hard to deal with that. They've not got the sort of activity levels that they've had in the past but the aggression they're having here at cp is just from experience a brilliant jump by perfo he's well known for those cheeky jumps and he's managed to pick up this double kill and gonna get in a gib on that full spawn for one of the allied players i believe and six six somehow once more take back the cp this is brilliant play seven and a half minutes remaining on the clock and they've managed to force the CP as the main objective for the Allies. And that is not what they would have wanted. They would have been wanted to battling for main door now. They would have been wanted to be pushing up for those controls. And it's just frustrating them. Doing a really, really good job. So really nice play. Perfo indeed in channel. Another double artillery. We've seen how important this spam can be. But what has managed to push through the cave. And he has got a plant down. But he's got no support. There is an engineer in place. It's going to be Clown. I'm going to go free cam just to see the sort of fire that the dragons can get off. And it looks like Clown's in position just to get this uh, defuse in. He's not going to be able to get revived. And uh, the 6-6 uh, six, six guys might have lost this stage. Like, well and truly now. I can't see anyone rotating to get that defuse in. It does look like Clown's going to have three or four seconds left. He's not going to go for it. And that's probably the smart smart choice. He didn't. He did have a full spawn to risk there, and he'd rather just get set up inside. And and the uh, the six six guys are going to fall back. And uh, dragons are, uh, have got a chance. They've got CP and main in one foul swoop. And uh, this is a good push. Seeing them push down, and they have got truck in position as well. And uh, the six six guys need to just keep their heads. They've already done a really good job. They don't want to mess up. So quickly, as the dragons guys just push through main without too much of a problem, the crossfire on the main door is awful, which is probably one of the easiest things to do in in enemy territory. Is just get a crossfire on one big door. Considering CP defense is almost impossible to do. Cheeky headshot from Oxy as he is taken down. West plant has gone down as well. Oh, uh, was that west or east? I think that was. Yep, yeah, that was east. Okay, so the truck is just creeping inside the main door. That needs to get into position. Time is running out though. They've already managed to put 10 minutes on the clock, the Axis. They know they've got a pretty decent time to attack against themselves. But uh, right now, Double Dutch Dragon's doing all they can. Their truck is nearly in position. You see a lot of frags coming in. 6-6 six, six picking up a lot of frags in that spawn area. 
and Olbers on hand to just uh, just clear it out. He's going to pick up a lot of kills. That's a triple kill from Olber. Nice shooting. Quite a few headshots involved in that one. That's four. Is there anyone left for Olber to take down? He's just going to try and uh, get a respawn frag with this grenade. And uh, he nearly actually got team kill uh, rifled by Clown. I think it just hit Olber by accident. He's doing some nice damage there. He's going to pick up another kill. We've, watched, we've seen this once before in a couple of the finals. Just when one of the aimers just goes on a, a killing spree, it's disgusting. We saw it from Ephesia. We've seen it from a lot of top players. Abject as well. It's a really nice play from Olber there. But they need to set up that crossfire on main. Four and a half minutes remaining or thereabouts. Not much time on the clock. You see uh, Hunter does get dropped. Uh, Oxy all alone. He's got no, not got any field up support at the moment. He needs their ammo packs. And uh, we're going to go free cam just to check out how the defense is holding up. 6-6. Six, six. Don't really seem to have many guns looking at main at the moment. And it's, it's a wonder how the dragons are struggling to get through. Physic is the last man alive. A lot of pressure on him in this situation. He's going to risk full as well. Abject's going to push in towards him. He's going to get taken down. Physic knows there is a medic at that truck. He's going to leave him. Hunter is actually going to kill and give. No, a nice revive. So uh, not too much problem at the moment. Engineer is trying to sneak up, but they've got him under control. Just under four minutes remaining in the game uh, for them to get a time on supply. And it, remember, it is, um, I believe it is the Dragon's map choice. So this was a, a fairly poor map choice in the end. I'm going to assume, this is just a guess, I'm guessing the second map's going to be... Um, Gold Rush. Yeah. 6-6 six, six guys love that map. Lots of spam coming down on that east wall. And fortunately for the Dragons, they are going to spawn straight back in. And the push is going to come in really uh, quite quickly. What does to get taken down, but he needs, he's got that medic support. Uh, they're just being a bit, bit, like I say, a bit frustrated. Taking rushing stages when they don't need to. But what is going to be able to make it up? I'm going to switch it across to him. The Panzer might fly in on him in the upper area. Can't find him anywhere. Here comes the build on controls. No Panzer. He is going to be able to make controls and build, uh, build controls and press the button. Really nice work from Wood. He, they may yet get a time on the board. As the Dragons start picking up some more frags. Uh, I'm going to switch it across to, to Olba. He's one of the last players alive for the uh, Axis. And it looks like a full respawn. I saw Abject on the Panzer. He is in position. He's going to get taken down by Olba. Nice frag. That's going to stop him and maybe another player on his team getting spawn killed. Oh, we're picking up another double kill. He's out of ammo. Click, click. And 6-6 uh, six, six again. Clear out the entire allied team. 2 minutes, 19 seconds remaining on the clock. Free cam coming out as a uh, nice artillery at main. It's going to force them all east. Now, this is one thing. They're going to all cluster. Clown knows they're coming. He does ping off one rifle grenade. He does get one kill. Another rifle grenade comes in. Perfo's landmine does insta give Hunter. And they've not got a lot of time. The spam is just going to be endless if they don't try and either switch up or push hard through east, east wall. It's going to be horrible. Uh, here comes the push. They are getting dealt with with a big crossfire. Jin, last man alive. He's going to get taken down. 1 minute 44 on the, on the clock. It doesn't look good for the, for the ally team. To be fair, Axis have played so well. They've added so much time at every stage. Perfo's cheeky grenade is going to take down one on that respawn. And then, I'm not sure about the revive in that, in that position. We're going to be watching Oxy. He's got a nice position on this uh, on this main door. He's going to be able to get that headshot in. Lots of spam again. Clown picking up a double kill. Perfo picking up a double kill. And that east, it, all the action looks to be main east at the moment. They're trying to just put too much pressure on this east area and it's not working. 6-6 six, six have dealt with them every single time. And I'm pretty sure this is a full hold now. Nice double headshot from Clown with that with that Luger. And that's really, really good play from 6-6. Six, six. Well deserved. And you can see why they made it into the grand final from the winner's bracket. Because they dealt with uh They dealt with these guys really well. Double kill for, for Physic at the end. Is it just going to be bonus frags now? Lots of headshots coming out. You wouldn't expect anything less from uh, Olver. Physic actually finishes it off with a triple. So, uh, quite a lot of frag light hills or whatever. Frag light hills? That, that's uh, brilliant English there. Uh, frag movie reels. I don't, I don't even know how I said that wrong. Um, and that's going to be the, the full hold confirmed. Nice play. 
and it's going to be all on um, Double Dutch Dragons to try and get something out of this. They they know that they have to win the first game. They have to beat 6-6 six, six twice, which is going to be so difficult. You see this, the push-outs just before the end of the game. That's full hold for the Axis team. A follow does come in. Thank you very much. I'm going to bring up the scores for you. If you haven't hit follow already, guys, please do. It helps my channel out a lot. Been streaming ET for about three months. It's been good fun so far. This is the end of the first season of me streaming ET effectively. The next season is already just about to start. So uh, let's have a little look. 39 kills for Olba. 5.5k damage. Physic on the big spam build up roll you saw him getting a lot of um, spam kills on that middle area at first main and also at the back crossroads on on cp perfo doing the same sort of deal so many kills for this axis team ally is bringing in pretty decent kills and damage considering but i mean that trade-off is horrible and the gibbs the gibbs is brilliant i always say around about 30 percent gibbs is what you want to aim for as a defending team and they got spot on 30 30 percent gibbs pretty much uh, the, the gib efficiency for a for allies wasn't as good, but I don't think that was the problem. The Axis just was dealing with them so well. And uh, police opened the door. So now it's going to be the Double Dutch Dragons on defense. Now, if they were to lose this, they would know that they have to win the next two maps. Then the second game, that's a lot of pressure. Another follow, Genghis. Thank you very much uh, for that follow. <laughs> Haha, Sherlock. Thank you very much, sir. Um, that's half of that donation is going to go towards the next land. I'm going to have a little prize pot of my own for the, the next land, of course. So uh, thank you very much for that donation. We've got Double Dutch Dragons now kicking off their defense. They have to hold this first stage really well. Uh, watching the reviving medic in middle, probably not the best person to watch at this stage. I'm going to pick up Clown. He's on the rifle grenade. Um, he's going to get off a couple of pistol shots. They know they're going aggressive now. We're going to see if they can get anyone on the respawn. I'm going to go three cameras. The 6-6 six, six players are going to bounce down main. Rifle grenade, grenade is pinged in. So unfortunate from Clown. Hunter did just get revived. More follows coming in. But Moon, thank you very much, sir. Or, or Madam. I've made that mistake before. So uh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, the push is coming in. We see what he actually pushed out to get that mine down. He has been taken down. Ungibbed at the moment. The push is coming in from allies. Nice reviving from Olba. He's uh, not just good on that gun. He does know when to whip out the needle and get in the revives. Doesn't know when to move out of the way of artillery, though. He's going to actually be on full spawn here. And it looks like uh, they're not going to be able to get this plant down. Axis have overwhelmed them. Look, Jakarik, thank you very much for that follow. As uh, Axis, pretty much 6 6, replying exactly how. Um, sorry, Double Dutch Dragons replying exactly how uh, 6 6 did. Tommy, thank you very much. Um, by like almost losing the plant, almost being overwhelmed, and then just recovering, you know. It was, it was almost like it was a trap. The way it was done, it was really well played. The Panzer does come in from Squid. And that's taken down one on, on a full spawn nearly. Uh, this low defense is holding on pretty strong. Revive does come in from Mihal. Nice work. Uh, he's going to need to get in those revives. The shooting's going to be pretty hard to deal with from this allied team. They've got so many big aimers. Perfo, Oba, Squids, you know, so many big aimers. Um, and of course, Physic. So. The plant has finally gone down. I, I totally blanked on that. I do apologize. A strike's going to come out. It does actually get a team kill, but I think it's cleared out quite a lot of the allies as well. Panzer comes in. Nice one. Blood G is the last man alive. He's well, last engineer alive. He has got big medic support. It's not going to be needed as he's going to be able to pick up that defuse. And the dragons are playing really well. Two and a half minutes, as I said, any time is good to add some time to the clock on these uh, early stages for the Axis because you're playing against such skilled opponents. You, know, you just want to uh, add as much to the clock as possible and not not get rolled over. Nice work from Clown. He's at least distracting them here, but he's actually going to pick up that double kill. And the flag is going to be uh, finally claimed by the Allies. I think that was Physic. So nice work. Plant is going to go down on the low door from Perfo. And you're going to watch Clown here just get on some uh, cheeky respawn grenades over the top. There we go. Pinged over the top. It's not going to hit anything there. I didn't see a... Uh, I didn't see a... XP update either, so I don't know if he hit anybody. 
He probably did. Hunter was low health. So that's a big possibility they actually did hit someone there. I'm gonna see how the axe is setting up. Pretty standard stuff. 3 CP. That sort of rogue um, rifle. They're gonna have one one in this position. I think he's gone up the cave already, and they're gonna have one in middle tower. So exactly the same sort of defense that we saw from 6-6. Six, six. It's gonna be down to that spam again. We haven't seen an artillery go down yet. There it is. It needs to be really good. We have seen Wood in the three on threes. He's really good at this stage. Seems very comfortable with the angles. And uh, picks up quite a lot of frags. Does play engineer though um, in three on three. And he, now he's picked up the medic. Seeing Mihao going a bit. Just a look towards me. Artillery has come down on the road once more. I'm going to try and pick up Abject. That's the one in middle tower. He is going to be able to drop Physic. More spam on main road. They're keeping up the spam. That's really important. Frags are coming in. Double up dragons doing exactly what was done to them. But their, their middle tower defense is gone. And they've made a mistake. And it is Hunter. Out of all the players, I, I always thought that Hunter would make that sort of frag movie ambition mistake. He has done an airstrike. And now there's not going to be any spam. That is a big, big... Um, and they're just going to roll them over. There we go. Where's the art No artillery. Rolled over CP defense. I've said it every single time I play... I watch supply. If they... Someone does not airstrike. Unless they get a six man. Pretty much. It's not worth it. You're better off having the spam to just slow them down. Make them riskful. You know, the allies' biggest advantage is they're going to spawn three times a minute. They're going to overwhelm you so much. CP is very, very hard to defend. You don't want to help them out. A very, uh... Very lax dynamite there. It might be a misplant. I, I think it might be just okay. Two engineers are on top of it. It does go down. Squid does finish that off. So a clown did get taken down originally, but the revive did come in, so it's all good. But the defuse is coming in right away. Olbert decides to kill out, so there's not going to be anyone on hand to defuse that. We actually saw a clown ping a, ping a um, rifle across as I'm starting to lose my voice already. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> the main plant is going to come down very quickly again though from Perfo. No defense from Axis. And that's really good work from him. Clown's picking up the frags as well. As you see, look, the, the Axis are actually back in spawn with 15 seconds into their respawn. And that's just because of the spam over the top. Really nice play. And that splits up your entire team. Squid's going to be able to get down that East plant as well. 6-6 Six playing very, very well. They've got a lot of control. And uh, dragons are really going to have to fix up the game. I'm going to be honest, they're going to have to fix up the game. This is the sort of dragons play we've been used to seeing. And I, and I did say before, I think the 6 6 team does seem to be sort of like their nemesis team. They, they don't ever really do as well against this team compared to others. As you see, a lot of spam going over the top does take down a couple. The new respawn for 6 6 is going to come in. The truck just creeping in that main door. Frags coming in. Uh, the aggression from Double Dutch Dragons on their own respawn time, so it's all good. That unfortunately timed uh, airstrike. No Gib comes in on work. Nice revive from Mihao. And the push going to come through main. I'm going to be able to pick up Jin, who actually puts up quite a bit of damage on his own rifle there. Um, they're trading a lot of kills. And trading kills is always into the allies' advantage. Lagarius. Thank you very much for that follow as I uh, destroy your name. Three kills coming in very quickly for 6-6. Six, six. They're taking over the spawn. Nice work from Oxy. I don't think he got that revive in in time. And that's actually the SMG Engineer out for full. Maybe um, Clown out for full, sorry. That's going to be quite hard. As uh, you heard someone stand on the grenade just inside west. Uh, sorry, inside east. Olber heard it as well. And what's actually going to be able to... He's going to get instigated by his own grenade. Not what he... Uh, by his own grenade, by his own landmine. And 6-6 uh, six, six are piling on the pressure, but at the moment, Double Dutch Dragons seem to be holding on. Not much of a problem. This spawn could be something different, though. The, the timing was not great for them. Clown eats his own rifle grade. Not what he would have wanted. Alchemy 638. Six, Is that 638? 838. Thank you very much for that follow. I wouldn't want to me mess you up with uh, Alchemy 638. Neither of you would want that. As the next push comes in for 6-6. Six, six, time is slowly coming down though and while, while I said 6-6 six, six started very well they are going to be able to pick up very very quick flag, frags Olber does get taken down he's not going to be able to put any pressure on that respawn and they're just going to aim to get the truck into position I think maybe Clown was up top I'm not sure I can't see anyone through the window that uh, 
amazing cam work at the moment, as you see Blood G just there. So there's a, a couple of 6-6 six, six players pushing up. They, I don't think they have too much medic support. Nice rifle grenade. Clown's going to be able to take down Blood G though. Queens 88, thank you very much. And some new pushes are coming in. 6-6 six, six are going to be able to get some guys out for full in that upper area. Squid getting a double kill. Poorly placed rifle grenade from Bludgy and the build is coming in for the uh, the ally team 6-6 six, six are going to be able to press the button, get that gold in the back of the truck and this is where it's, in, in my mind, it's GG. I mean, it, it would be so hard to hold this for six minutes. I don't think, I think, the, I think it, the longest I have seen it held is around six minutes. Perfo, really sneaky. Jin doesn't know what's going on. He knows he's in the back of the truck. There's nothing he can do. Hunter's going to jump up on the box, but Perfo's done the job already. He's managed to get the truck almost to the back of East Corner, which is really good play. And that's what that's one one against four, pretty much in that situation. Jin didn't spot him, and then there were loads of people around the truck, couldn't do anything about it. And the next push is coming in from Squid. I'm gonna try and pick him up. Uh, gonna actually stay on Physic, as uh, he's gonna camp up, camp it out in West Tower. Waiting for those pushes from the Axis. They're all gonna push out back though. And he's going to be able to get in quite a lot of long range damage. Olba does pick up a double kill. Perfo or Frag as well. Olba triple kill. And unless the revives are coming in, this is going to spell doom for the Axis team. The truck is still moving. It's now the front of front of East. The, tr the strike comes out. I don't think that's going to go off though. Oh, it actually does go off when it's on top. A triple airstrike kill. One of those guys was his teammate though. Uh, the respawn does come in and the truck is creeping out of the front of main and this is definitely going to be GG guys. It's going to be a matter of time. Five minutes is going to be impossible to hold this. I would uh, be very, very surprised if they even held it for another 30 seconds, let alone five minutes. Really well played from 6-6. Six, six. Their defense was awesome. Their defense was awesome. Their attack was on and off. It was hot and cold, but when it was hot, it was really, really hot and they just pushed through certain stages so quickly. And it's now going to be the second map, which I think is Gold Rush War. Wait for confirmation on that. You see a couple of respawn frags coming in for the 6-6 six, six guys. And that's going to be a really, really nice... Uh... Oh, thank you for that, Mihao. Uh, we're going to bring up the stats. And uh, 65 kills for Physic. 10k damage. 10.5k damage. Uh, he, was, he was playing really well. 22 gibs as well. That's really important. So th pretty much exactly what I was saying. 30% gibs. What you want to see. Um, playing amazingly well at the moment. Uh, Olbo just behind him. 58 frags. He's not a field up though, so he's like that Rambo medic. I'd say it's probably... I mean, it's not harder, but it's just different. So, uh, a lot of damage coming in. 46k damage to 31k damage. That is horrible. That is horrible. No matter what way you look at that, that is horrible. I'm going to update the score on the screens, guys. It's, it is 2-0 to zero lead. I have to cut off there. It's a 2 to 0 lead for 6 6. And uh, they now know that they only have to win one of the potential next two maps to, to be crowned champions of CG Season 2. And uh, by the looks of things, when I saw them in the upper bracket final, they looked so strong against Turbot. Bartek 5 1 or 5 2 0 2. I, I'm going to just stop reading out the numbers, I think, because I, I, I completely missed them at the corner of my eye. Thank you very much for that follow, Bartek. Appreciate that. Um, this is, listen, now, this is map two. This is 6-6's six, six is map choice. They are going to be on the attack, it looks like. So uh, the Dragons are going to be under a supreme amount of pressure to get in a decent defense. I mean, they're going to want at least, at least 11, 12 minutes. No doubt. They're, they're going to aim for 11, 12 minutes minimum. If, it was a, if it's going to be a, an 8, sub 10 minute time, that would be really awful for them. Definitely not what they would want. So this is going to be the second map. Yeah. Cyber Gamer Season 2. Tamora's amazing. See you at LAN. $50 donation. Thank you so much. I'll uh, speak more about the donations after the stream, guys. But this is going to be Double Dutch Dragons on the defense. They're going to have to get in an amazing def um, hold at this stage. And there's no mines down on this tank. And then Artillery is going to stop really any mine play from... From what I'm not sure what happened there, but the mines are really going to be slow on main. Nice work. I'm not. I think it must have been a, a bit of spam. Maybe a rifle grenade from Clown. 
that fifty dollar donation did did distract me. What is still not getting down mines? What is he playing at? Unless I've just not seeing them. Unless unless I, I have got shout cards enabled. I've got no idea what's going on. They are putting on a lot of pressure on this spawn though. Nice work from the Axis, but they're going to be able to push in the main area very soon. They're going to put on a lot of pressure on this side as well. Maybe push around back. It looks like Perfo and Physic are going around to the back area. I'm going to stick on Perfo as the SMG engineer. He's got the most of the charge to get that tank up. Lots of frags coming in as well. 6-6 six, six actually. Olber and Clown pick up a, a frag apiece. And it looks like what's going ultra aggressive on side and not putting really any mines down around the tank. This is a very, very surprising play. They have managed to hold them off on this side area. And uh, the next push is going to come on towards side. Hunter does get a frag in there. Maybe a double kill. And he does actually pick up the triple. He's going to get taken down. And he's going to get Gib. Nice work from... Uh, from squid the gibbs are really important and they seem to be going for gibbs over the like the multi kills he had three or four guys to aim at there but he went for that gib he, he knew that he would be able to put on a bit more pressure on the, the enemy as uh, although we'll only put down one mine <laughs> it did kill the engineer though maybe it's just amazingly placed mines as Olber gets in a big double grenade and the rifle grenade does come out actually from bludgy push from main is going to be big here uh, where's the where's the engineers? I don't see any engineers in position. Clown pushing in this side area. He's got Oxy as backup as uh, as the medic. Where's Perfo on the SMG NG? He is going to be able to push in the main area. Lots of charge going into on that tank, and the strike does come out from. Uh... Where, where's the revive? Oxy's going to be able to pick up. No, he doesn't. Oh my god, that's amazing. Clown does get the build, and they're going to be able to get this tank away just before this airstrike goes off, which isn't even going to damage the tank anyway. So amazing play from Six Six. I think a bit, quite a bit of fortune um, for Double Dutch Dragons there. They could have, I mean, I, they could have held on. I mean, if they would have taken down Clown, they were very fortunate with Perfo getting gibbed and not getting revived there. And in that situation, I don't want to second guess. Um, I don't want to second guess Oxy, but he really should have just gone for the engineer revive and screwed everybody else. Like, because you build that tank, you win. That's it. You, you won that stage. They've got it anyway. No big deal. They have got the barrier down the axis, so they're going to be able to add a bit more time to this. So, uh, already a pretty reasonable start for both teams, really. I mean, a, a three minute hold so far for Double Dutch Dragons. They have got the barrier down for the tank. And the tank has been taken by the allies in you know, th th the opening two and a half minutes. So I don't think either team will be too bothered by the first stage. It's not great. It's not bad. It's done. The plant is going to come in. Lots of kills coming in from 6-6 though. A uh, double kill from, from what's landmine. A bit lucky there. But I don't think they're going to be able to get that um, defuse in. I'm going to try and go free cam. Just to check if uh, anyone's pushing in on it. it is what He's going ultra aggressive. He's playing so... He's very playing... Very different to how we've seen what play. Normally he's a bit like conservative, plays the spam role pretty well. That reminded me a bit of a uh, of a uh, Cherry, you know, the Belgian engineer. Quite an aggressive engineer in terms of shooting, but his his positioning was quite um, conservative. Whereas now he's going very very aggressive, and it's just not working. Like if you push out as an an SMG eng, you need to have your spam down behind you so that you can you know you've got something to fall back on. And we're going to watch Clown here. He is uh, under the bridge. He's going to be able to get in some spam. He's actually got an artillery on the first arch. The, uh, the Axis players did know that it was down. Maybe a bit a bit early. I heard one of the blasts come down just as they started to respawn. So uh, this is this is good work from 6-6. It's pretty much in position, the tank now. Uh, no free cam. The tank is actually in position. So they've got... Um, the back door's blown wide open. They need to get this CP now. Ten minutes remaining on the clock. Double Dutch Dragons need to add, I would say, at least at least six minutes, if not more, to really give themselves a good chance of uh, clawing their way back into this game. As uh, Abjet's going to eat your grenade from uh, Olba. Nice work. The, the build on... Uh, sorry, the damage on the, uh, the MG is not going to come in. And you just see Perfo... Being frustrating, jumping on and off of that MG, just trying to get in a bit of damage on that bank area. We're going to go free cam. It looks like Clown's going to be able to pick up the gold. He's going to be able to push straight out the front as well. 
as uh, the Axis have actually respawned. They are at second. He's getting some nice damage in across the, the map there. And Oxy gets taken down. Physic needs to get in these revives. It's going to be very important. They could get this gold away. Uh, nice revive play from allies, but it's not going to be enough. Clown does pick it up, but he's only going to get a few. Wow, it doesn't get actually secured. How close was that? That was so, so lucky. And uh, Mihao saves the day inadvertently, I think. He, he just sort of turned around it was there. And the next respawn of Axis is pretty much getting held in the spawn. Uh, what has managed to make his way all the way to the, uh, the bank, though. He gets taken down by Squid. Squid double kill. But uh, he needed some support, and it was all by himself. Big rifle grenade from Clown. Insta gives Mihao. And uh, again, Double Dutch Dragons just don't seem to be withstanding the sort of pressure that 6 6 are throwing their way. Oh, but big double kill. I'm going to pick him up. I know this is the sort of position where he can get a big, big frag. And it looks like Clown's going to push in for the gold once more. He does get taken down by, by Mihao. What's, I think, one of the last people alive in this gold run. He's on the pistol. He's going to get a bit of damage on towards the allies. He's going to have, what, three or four to deal with. They aren't really focusing on him, though. Merlinator Holiday Fund. I see you in Portugal, mate. So, <laughs> and uh, Wood's going to be going behind the bank, pushing towards uh, towards the objective. But I think they've pretty much gone. I can't see them anywhere. As uh, we see Squid actually be able to get away. He's going to be able to go up to the ammo racks. He's just got away with... Uh, well, he's, he's been healing himself the entire time. What is hot on his tails. And uh, it looks like Squid's going to push straight through. He's not going to wait for anybody. Nice work. He's going to have someone to deal with under the bridge. Jin gets dropped. Nice call. That would have been Olber. Just giving him a bit of a call there that someone was under the bridge. And they're going to be able to get this truck away. Maybe past the barrier. And this could be this could be like an eight minute time, and that would be so hard, so hard to deal with. Um, you know that first stage. If they if double dash dragons were were held at the first stage, even for two or three minutes, you know it would just be so much pressure on every other stage after that. Nice double pistol kill from Olber. A strike does come in under the bridge. Does it take actually take Olber down? The truck is going to creep away. Nice artillery near the second dot, and the spam now is going to be big. It's going to be very very hard to do pretty much anything about catching this tr truck up big kills oxy picks up three or four of his own and we've uh, seen him doing a lot of reviving in this game playing the medic role really really well and it's been i would say that's probably one of the most important things to do you to understand when you've got big aimers on your team to take that medic role you know to really be in position for those revives is uh, a nice uh, a nice choice from from oxy unfortunately this uh airstrike from squid double rifle grenade does come in but the the truck is going to slowly creep towards the the allied spawn i'm just going to pick up some of these frags eight minutes 34 that is horrible that is that is a really really low time and six six will be very very happy with that double dash dragons uh, they just don't look like the team that we've been seeing look very very different maybe it's a bit of pressure i'm not sure i mean to get this far they've done well they got dropped into the lower bracket in the semi-finals i believe where i probably would have said that they were the favorites to win their game but turbot played amazingly well in that semi-final i'd probably say that's one of the best games i've streamed in terms of how close it was turbot played out out of their skins and they really did deserve to win that game and then when it got to the lower bracket final last week i saw exactly the same but this time, Double Dutch Dragons managed to finish Turbot off. And uh, maybe Turbot not playing up to their, their standard in that game. So uh, Double Dutch Dragons have got a chance. Very, very small chance. Eight minutes. Uh, well, eight and a half minutes or so on the clock. They need to get this first stage in literally like the first minute and a half. Perfo is going to be on that SMG NG roll. He's getting the mines down very early. What we didn't see on the last defense from um, the Double Dutch Dragons. 6-6 six, six, setting up pretty well. We're going to watch Olver on this side area. We're pretty much identical to where we see, like, the... Always see the big aimer play this position. I'd say, even though there's Physic Perfo, you know, on this team, and Squid, of course, I'd say Olver's probably the big aimer out of these guys. Without a doubt. Physic, very, very, very close. But when, you, when you've got this sort of experience that Olver brings to the table as well as the big aim... Oh, he's going to miss this revive, though, and the push is coming in for Double Dutch Dragons. They need to get in the revives and kills. 
and the kill it kill out does come from six six and the push is going to be coming towards the tank six six have pushed forward into position no spam is going to be there though and they're going to be able to retake this uh courtyard area they may be able to push towards the corner as well Olbers into his uh favored position nasty nade from clown he nearly gives himself and maybe killed a teammate but it's all good double dash dragons getting a lot of kills but the reply from six six is is brilliant lots of kills coming in again as you see oh, as you see in the console quite a lot of double dash dragons kills and then the reply five kills from six six so and that's going to be down to the revive play as well because those kills would have had to get revived to really sort of have any sort of reply so nice play from 6-6. Six, six. They've already held on for a minute and a half from this first stage. Oxy is playing this back area. He's going to give the early calls on any side pushes. It looks like there's going to be quite a heavy main push, maybe. As uh, Hunter does pick up a frag. Just as I, I skip to him. Perfo is double frag on main, so he's not too uncomfortable in that NGSMG role. Playing very strong. Uh, nice gib onto the engineer by Oxy. Didn't try and get greedy. To try and peek the next player to get the kill. He just gives the engineer. And without the engineer, you're not going to be able to get the tank. And uh, the dragons guy are uh, struggling a little bit. Like I say, they they've already had two minutes gone from their potential amount of time that they had to attack on. And uh, what? There's six minutes, five seconds left. They haven't got much more, really. They have to get this first stage, I'd say, before the five-minute mark. Maybe before the four-and-a-half-minute mark. Uh, Oxy, big triple kill on that back area. Um, he's gonna ha He had a bit of support from Clown there, but nice work from Oxy. Um, a lot of people sort of think he's the odd one out in this lineup. He is sort of like, I think, team leader. Basically, the person who organizes this team, from what I understand. And the respawn's gonna come in from Axis, and it's gonna destroy the look at how many axes are in in uh, Mihao's vision he's got nothing he can do there and every jewel it seems to be they winning when it's fair when it's pistol against the uh, pistol against SMG not so much no they're not that good not not consistently oh but getting a lot of pistol kills in though and it looks like like I say this could be it for double dutch dragons they have probably 45 seconds to to get the next uh Get the tank up. As uh, the double kill does come in from Olber. Lots of frags actually coming in for Double Dutch Dragons. They're pushing into across the courtyard, maybe. Revives have come in, and I think too much control for 6 6. They're all, their positioning alone is really good. Just so that they die in good positions to be revived. So, uh, looking at the time on the clock, I don't think there's going to be enough time really. I mean, they, can, they, they, they have to prove me wrong, but they're, they're pushing up back now, and a lot of the respawn frags are just hurting them. They're pushing in on the spawn, uh, try, you know, pushing in on four or five guys respawning and just getting uh, destroyed is not not really a good strategy. And finally, 6-6 six, six actually work their way out of their own spawn, and they can go a bit aggressive on that main area, maybe work pushing towards back. Uh, Oxy did dive on his own grenade, so he's no, he's not going to be in position. He's going to get quite a bit of damage, and you can see four or five guys in that area. And it looks like there's two or three, three guys pushing up this back area. Um, and where's the, where's the axis? Have they, have they responded? See two again, three or four guys shooting towards them. Nice shooting from Abject. Going to be able to take down Physic. Maybe going to get in that gear, but it's not going to happen. And this is where the respawn of Axis is going to come in, and exactly the same situation is going to happen. Uh, what did start the charge on that tank, but I think he, he had it the right idea in mind. Nice double grenade from Abject, no Gibbs coming in, so the revives are going to come in from Squid. And uh, I mean, you, you, you've got to say well done for the Dragons. They haven't given up, but the play of 6 6 has just been immense. You really can't question the quality of their play in this game. Mihao does actually clear out this courtyard, but those double landmines at main is going to pretty much insta gib Wood, and he's the SMG eng. He is waiting for a revive inside main. One bullet will probably give him there. And uh, with three minutes remaining on the clock, and uh, at the moment, like I say, I think this is going to be done and dusted, unfortunately, for the, for the Dragons guys. 6-6 six, six look good for the good for the win. 
Uh, they, of course, would have had to have lost twice anyway. That alone. Uh, winning once is going to be hard enough. And uh, it's not going to happen for them. Team kills coming in. I'm not sure about that. The push is up back. Oxy's getting a lot of pressure put on him. But he's managed to take down Abject, no problem. And uh, two and a half minutes remaining. I will talk about donations after this game, guys. I will talk about my giveaways as well. I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways, so stay tuned. There's at least, uh, i say, at least seven games I'm going to give away after the stream. But for now, looking at 6-6. Six, six. Um, I'd say that they, they probably, like I say, were the stronger team. Not just... Um, this game, we saw them against Turbot, like I said, they look very strong. I thought it would be very hard to take them down. Um, and against, uh, I think, they just seem to get better as the tournament progressed. They, of course, lost to the Double Dutch Dragons in the group stage. They managed to pick themselves back up. Just gonna watch Olba being a sneaky here. Looking towards main. Here, does here an ally. Hunter is actually going to get taken down by Purfo's grenade. I'm going to switch up and, and uh, watch Purfo. He's taken down Bloody, gets the Gibbon as well. And uh, this is going to be this is going to be the I think it's the third different winner of a six-on-six -six tournament um, in the major tournaments. I think we had tag. In the last one, and I think we had Phase in the one before that. Oh no, we had Turbo in the one before that, I think. And then now we're having a uh, six-six. So it, at least it's not predictable. At least it's not predictable. Uh, of course, signups for the next Crossfire tournament is still open. They've got nearly 20 teams, maybe over 20 teams now. I'm not sure. So there again, I'll be picking up some of those games next season. I'll pick it, be picking up the later stages of the 3-on-3 three -three World Cup as well. That's currently in the early playoff stages. And I'll also be picking up the LAN event. Is it ET Reborn? Uh, which will be taking place in April, I believe. All the information, everything I've been talking about now, is on crossfire.nu. If you need to, any information about LAN events, tournaments, anything, just visit that website. Of course, anything enemy territory related should be on there anyway. So this is going to be the end of the game. Really well played to 6-6. Well deserved. I'm going to bring up the stats before people disconnect. No. But you see quite a lot of damage coming in. Olba picking, in, picking up big frags as to be expected. And that's going to be a 4-0 win for 6-6. Really well played for them.